Hello and welcome to the OASP Disciple. In this video I'm going to show you six quick write-ups from the HSCTF. The first one, an inaccessible admin panel. If we view the source code of the page and take a look at the login.js and see there is a validate password function that will compare the provided password after performing some operations with the character codes and compare it to the key array. In this case, I've copy pasted the code from this login.js to the console of the browser, and I made a couple of modifications. So whenever we provide a password, it will use the characters that we provide to perform these operations on all of the characters to generate all possible values. And then for each key, we will search key of our target password on the array created with the string that we provided. And then if we do this for all of these key values, we will get our password. So we can click enter, and then we will provide all of the potential characters of the flag, and we get this, which is our password. The username, as we can see on the login.js, is waiting for admin. If we go back to the login, we can log in as admin and provide the password that was generated by that script. It redirects us to the admin panel and it says that the flag will be flag username and password. So the flag will be like this. For MongoDB, we have the source code of the server and we have this application. If we take a look at the source code, in the login function, the server is injecting user provided input in this MongoDB query. This allows us to perform a NoSQL injection here. And instead of an AND condition of user and password, we will pass an OR condition, which will make the right side disabled. And we will only check if, for example, the user admin exists. We just need to provide this payload. So admin or this user a and this right part will just get ignored even if it fails if the admin user exists we click submit query and we get the flag for the very secure we also get the source code in the application it seems there is nothing if we take a look at source code we can see there is a flag endpoint and if we have an admin session we will be able to see the flag. So we need to forge an admin session. For that, we need to get the secret key. The server has generated two random bytes, so we need to brute force them in order to forge a session key with the admin name. To do that, I've created this script that will brute force the two bytes and will keep generating sessions with the name admin until we are able to see the flag from the server. I was a bit lazy with this one. I just left it running for four hours and then I got the flag. For a fancy page, we also have the source code. And it seems we can provide title, content, background color, text color, font and font size, and then display the page. So the goal here would be to perform a cross-site scripting attack and then send a payload to the admin bot to check and to retrieve the admin cookie. On the source code, we can see that our goal is to inject JavaScript on the content.inner.html. The sanitize function is being used and it will perform a regular expression that will remove all of these keywords. If we write, for example, a script a, and the script gets removed with that regular expression. To be able to inject the script string, we just write script in the middle of the word script. So when the regular expression removes the script from the middle, a script string will remain there like this. So now we can create a payload like this 
that will bypass the regular expression sanitization of all the keywords they are checking and it will send the admins cookie to our webhook.site by changing the document.location. So now we can send this payload with what I've showed you as the content to the admin bot and if we submit the query the admin will visit our URL and we will get the flag. For the flag shop we also get source code. We can see a search functionality and if we take a look at source code we can see that the API search endpoint is injecting a post parameter search that is user provided input on this MongoDB query. This is also a NoSQL injection. Here they are checking the this.challenge parameter. And the next step to exploit this, we can close this check and then open a new one that will check the this.flag. So we can retrieve and try to brute force the flag characters one by one. So this will close the other filter. And then here we will check if the flag includes certain characters. So we know it starts with flag from the flag format. So if we search, all of them start with flag, open bracket. And then our, our target is flag shop and it starts with age. There are multiple ways we could brute force this. Just keep in mind that when you miss a character, for example, if we put J here, it will not retrieve the flag shop challenge. But if we are right about the character, the next character, it will retrieve the flag shop item. In this case, I've used Burp Suite with the intruder tool. I've set the injection point here. I've added characters and special characters. And then I just started the attack. And then I could see the next characters. Now I can add this next character, which is C, and then start a new attack to see the next character. And we can see it's T. And then when we reach the end, we can see that the flag is HSCTF Gacha Game Win. I hope you enjoyed these solutions. Please leave a like and subscribe. And see you on the next one.